Hello everyone. I am Sibendra Singh. Today I'm going to discuss a question from Test of Maths at the 10 plus 2 level. Subjective question number 51 of ISI. Uh, in first part, it is given m identical symbols, say H, and we need to show the number of ways in which we can distribute them in k boxes marked 1, 2, 3, dot, dot k so that no box goes empty is m minus 1, c minus 1. Consider uh, this to be symbol h, 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 this is how many symbols are here. We need to divide them in k boxes. So suppose some boxes is made here. So if we divide this stick, okay, then it is very intuitive to see that this box has a box. And if we divide this using this stick, so this also works as a box. Similarly, if you put a stick here, then this become a box. So if you put a stick here, then this become a box. So you can see that, uh, suppose here x1 many uh, symbols are there, here x2 many symbols are there, and uh, here xk many symbols are here. So, and the number of sticks required to make k boxes is k minus one, right? Uh, number of sticks required is k minus one, right? Because k minus one sticks can make k different partitions where uh, many, some non, some non, uh, some non empty are here there yeah so k minus one many sticks are Divide to make key boxes or key partition. Right. And how many in how many ways can we close this partition? That is a next question. Suppose this is H, we draw M many H, okay? This is M many and the pad partition can be formed in any M minus one ways because uh, this can be here, or it can be here, or this stick can be here, or this stick can be here. So the stick, so there are some m many h. So at any of the m minus one of position, m minus one many positions, uh, the sticks can come, and we can see that in every such arrangement, uh, there are some non-empty h. Right, so we need to select so there are M minus one possible choices. 
to place just x right so we need to select exactly k minus one is stick from m minus one possible choices so this can be done in m minus one choose k minus one yes. so this is the number of ways in which we can distribute k boxes so that no box goes empty this is m minus one choose k minus one now in the second part it says that there are m many h and n many t's which are interrupted uninterrupted sequence of one kind of symbols which is called a run let's see a run is defined this way if there are this arrangement then is 2h 2t sorry 3t 1h 1t and the number of run is this is one uninterrupted sequence this is another uninterrupted sequence so the number of uninterrupted sequence of h is 2 right so the run is 2 similarly here the run of t will be 2 because this is one uninterrupted sequence this is another uninterrupted sequence so the run of t will be here 2 again okay this is just an example uh, we need to find the number of arrangement of m h and m t's in which there are exactly k h runs okay so we need to form such so that there are this is one two three there are k many boxes so here are some h okay i'm writing this way here are some h Okay, here maybe sometime two or something. Get it, whatever. It doesn't matter how many. So let here be x1 many h here, x2 many h here, x3 many h here, xk many h. And from part A, in part A we have already shown that the number of ways we can distribute uh, m minus one h in k minus one boxes such that each box contains at least one h each m minus one choose k minus one ways okay now we need to place and many these right so these are different runs so here should be at least here should be at least one t here to be at least one t this way right so there are exactly k minus one boxes where there can be where there should be at least one test and in the first place there may or may not be any t's okay so that there be y1 many t's here y2 many t's y3 many t's y4 many t's here y k many t's and here y k plus one minute is and we see that y2 y3 up to yk each each number is greater than equals to one and y1 may or may not contain any t's similarly that applies for yk plus one let us write uh, yeah also we have y1 plus y2 plus yk plus 1 this is equal to n because we have been given there are n many t's right now define 1 plus y1 is equal to q1 y2 is equal to u2 y3 is equal to u3 up to yk is equal to qk and 1 plus y k plus 1 is equal to 
uk plus one we see that uh, this is greater than equals to one this is greater than equals to one this is greater than equals to one and this is greater than equals to one so each of u i is greater than equals to one for i is equal to one two two k plus one right and one plus y one plus y two dot dot, dot plus y k plus one plus y k plus one this is equal to n plus two because two ones are added here so u1 plus u2 plus u k plus one the sum is n plus two says that ui is greater than plus two so this can be stated as uh k plus one minute tuples are the number of ways to distribute n plus two many t's in k plus one boxes so that no boxes remains empty what did we do we have redefined the problem uh, we have restated from the previous condition right this was the previous condition to the new condition and it can be defined in this way and from part a we can say that this is n plus 2 minus 1 choose k plus 1 minus 1 which is equal to n plus 1 choose k right also we do it we arrange an h and an page simultaneously right both the event happen simultaneously so this m minus one choose k minus one and n plus one choose k should be multiplied right so the answer will be yeah So the number of ways or number of arrangements of an H and an T's in which there are exactly K runs is it should be a minus one shoot. Uh, let's write here clearly. This that should be m minus one choose k minus one into n plus one choose k. Okay. Now this is how this problem is solved. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you.